It's not Wall Street. But in the early 1990s, Lake Success Long Island is a hotspot for aspiring young stockbrokers. Under the leadership of Jordan Belfort, Stratton Oakmont becomes known as the place where you can make big cash by selling the hottest new stocks. In 1991, the company makes commission revenues of nearly $30 million. I was the best training ground for stockbrokers. You know, go to Stratton, become a trained killer. But Stratton isn't your typical brokerage. Rather than employ Wall Street veterans, they instead have a unique hiring process. Stratton did something different. They wanted basically uneducated, unexperienced people to join their firm. You didn't even need a college degree? You didn't need a high school diploma. You didn't need anything. All you needed was to come into the room, swear loyalty to the Stratton way of life, and you know we would show you how to get rich. They basically wanted, wanted us stupid so they could train us in their model. Carl is a former Stratton employee who says he's gone on to be a respected businessman and requests anonymity. He remembers the frenzy surrounding his first day on the job. They would bring in everybody for job interviews and they would put you in a room. They would ask, is anybody licensed in any other brokerage firm anywhere? And if anybody raised their hand, they'd throw them out right then and there. The con is on. All new American Greed, Thursdays, 10 Eastern on CNBC.